Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. I have been waiting to do this video. I did not think this through and when I ordered everything, cause I ordered, I think it was on the 13th or the 14th, whichever day it first started for pre-sale, or not pre-sale, but uh, if you're a card member, whatever you get in. I don't, I'm not like the specific details. This is like the first time I really went ham on a Nordstrom anniversary sale, so. You know, I think I ordered all my stuff on the 13th or the 14th. I stayed up till literally 3 a.m. to shop most of these items. It was a little bit ridiculous. I have a lot of stuff in this video. I'm excited to share with you what I purchased. There's no beauty stuff. This is just like home and clothing items that I wanted. And these were pretty good deals. So if you guys don't know, I'm just going to quickly tell you. This is like all the fall stuff that's going to be out in Nordstrom that you'll see. But they put it on sale first before it goes out full price. Whatever. It's a sale. I love sales and a lot of these items are marked down a lot so I definitely took advantage and got some really cute things. I got some things that I haven't seen people talk about before so I hope you find something different in this video that you enjoy. There are some items, some popular items actually, that I am returning so definitely stay till the end to see those because I was really excited for them but either they didn't fit or the fabric just wasn't up to par. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you like hauls like this, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know to do like more fashion hauls and things like that. This is going to be a try on as well and I don't think I've said that but it will be a try on be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see like other things that come in I could do like try on hauls for you guys there but I really like doing YouTube videos <laughs> so I wouldn't mind doing these more if you guys enjoyed it so just give this video a thumbs up if you do so that way I know so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started so the first item I have is actually this shirt right here this is from Topshop and this is one of those shirts that like hangs right off of your shoulders it's really pretty it's a cropped sweater sweater type of feel. I like it, but I do think, I don't know, Topshop runs a little small, so it's a little smaller for me for what I would like. I am going to keep it because I do love the colors and I feel like layered with other items, it's going to be really pretty. And I, I don't know, I just love like the different colors in here. You have like a mint, a blue, a purple kind of threaded through here. And it's just really pretty. So I am going to keep this item. Just figured I would let you know. But I am going to start with home stuff. So I also purchased quite a bit of gifts through this sale. I purchased some makeup products, some home decor stuff, different things to give for Christmas. So if you're looking to give people gifts for Christmas, definitely go for the anniversary sale. There's also a lot of great items for men, so definitely go check that out. But the first thing I'm gonna share with you is the diffusers that I stocked up on. So back here, I don't know if you guys ever see this, but I got this diffuser first off. My first batch I got from Neiman Marcus forever ago. I fell in love with them and I put all the wicks in it. You know, people say don't put all the wicks in your diffuser because it makes it go down more, which it does, but I do that with this one and these last so long. They last for such a long time. I mean months, months they last. So since I purchased a couple of these, this was the size that I got. I believe it's the eight ounce Right? I have purchased the 16 one before. I actually still have it in my bathroom and I just never get through that thing. So um, I figured I would get my money's worth out of this as well and I could change out my scents more often. This one's the Alamona and it's the Antica Pharmacist, Pharmacista? Uh, I don't know. That's the brand of it and this is what it looks like. It's just such an elegant bottle. These are expensive so that's why I recommend getting it for the sale. They smell so freaking good and I just really feel like it's worth your money because they last for such a long time. Alamona is one of my favorites. It's always back here in my videos because it's really pretty first off but it smells delicious and then I don't know why these came in a really pretty dust bag but two came in a dust bag and then the Alamona ones came in like <laughs> bubble wrap I got another one of those like I told you guys and then I got two of the Santorini scent the Santorini scent is just so so beautiful. These are my absolute favorites. When I picked these up, I was in Neiman Marcus smelling them, and these two were definitely the standout ones for me. But this is what it looks like. I can't really tell you what it smells like. It's just really clean and fresh. And if you love kind of like floral, honeysuckle-ish scents, you'll love Alamona. And this one's definitely more of like a fresh, clean, nice scent. But not like a clean laundry scent. I don't know if that makes any sense. Sense. <laughs> Anyways, love it. They all come with wicks. I'm guessing these come with um, dust bags. I don't know what I'm going to do with the dust bag, but it comes with them because they're 
nice and fancy. Got two of the Santorini's to last me through literally the rest of this year. And then you get a mini size, which I thought was so nice. Um, I think it's like if you purchase two, you get a mini. There's like a deal going on. So definitely take advantage of it because again, this is going to last you such a long time. And this is in the scent Santorini. So I mean, you can't go wrong. Another thing I know people are probably so sick and tired of hearing about Barefoot Dreams, but I decided to splurge and get this blanket this year and it is so soft just like everyone says this is going to be the living room blanket for sure it is just the softest thing ever it's originally 147 dollars which is a lot for a blanket, um, but it is on sale. I can't remember the exact price, but I will leave everything either in the screen or down below. But it was originally $147, it's 54 by 72, and I'm telling you, this is so soft, and we will get so much use out of this because, as you guys know, we're in upstate New York. It's really, really cold in the wintertime, so I'm excited to have this and have it in my living room. I also purchased a few for gifts, too, because I feel like everybody would love that. And then the last home decor item that I got is a comforter. I had this comforter in my cart before the sale and I was going to buy it and then when the anniversary sale came around I saw in my cart that it was on sale and I was like um I'm gonna get that. I'm, I'm gonna get that. This is a three-piece comforter set and I got it in the king size because we do have a king size bed. Yeah and it's easy because it's a comforter you just throw it on your bed and you're good to go and this is what it looks like. Can you guys see it? No, there it is. It's really cute. All right, now let's move on to clothing and jewelry. So this is Gorgiana. I want to call it Gorgina really bad, but you know. <laughs> Has a little dust bag and you get a really nice box with it. And they're just these really gorgeous long earrings. I would wear these now, but I don't know. There was something about these that I loved with this top. It's more of like a rusty kind of gold. I don't know. I really like it. Um, but these are gorgeous and they're just long. I feel like they're not too much because they're so like long and thin that they're not going to get all up in your way they just add a little something extra love this i think for fall it's going to be beautiful especially if you have your hair in a pony i'm definitely trying to wear more like earrings and jewelry so that's why you've been seeing me with jewelry more i'm usually wearing my uncommon james square hoops that i'm obsessed with i'm also trying new things out like these bad boys and i think we're going to start selling these on rosy days so stay tuned okay let's get on to the clothes so this I am so excited about and I am so surprised I haven't seen anyone talk about it no one I have watched so many Nordstrom sale hauls and nobody's talked about this but I think it's just because I kind of have a different style so it's a denim jacket but I like to call this my winter denim jacket it has like the shirling inside I guess that's what you call it and then it has like I don't know if you call it, I call it insulation, I don't know. It's very, very like squishy and cozy and something that's really gonna keep you warm in the fall and winter time. So if you're like me and love denim jackets, but when it comes to like the really cold parts of winter and you can't wear it, I really recommend this because it's gonna keep you warm. This is another thing from Levi's, I have nothing like this. I tried not to go too crazy with jackets because at Rosie Days we have so much cute fall stuff coming that I know my closet is going to be full but I don't have anything like this right now in my closet and I just thought it was amazing so this is a size small again it runs a little bit more oversized it's by Levi's and it's more of like a shirling all over shirling trucker jacket I love this. I love it so much. I know there's another jacket like this on the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but it's more, uh, I guess like dressy, I would say. This is definitely more of a casual way to wear that same kind of style, which is, that's kind of my style. I like to be a little bit more casual and just kind of dress things up. I'll have my moments where I get dressed up, but for the most part, I can wear this literally anytime. You know, I could wear it again with a t-shirt and some leggings or some denim, and it's really just going to add something different. I love that trucker style jacket. I think it's adorable. For which one's going to keep you more warm? I definitely think the denim one will, um, because I don't know, it just feels like it has more in it, I guess. Like it's more stuff. This will be amazing for fall and I can still layer sweaters underneath this as well. Uh, and I just love it. I love this so much. So definitely check that out if you kind of have my same type of style. <laughs> So I ordered two Barefoot Dreams cardigans, and they're two different styles, and this one is definitely my favorite. I think last year I purchased a Barefoot Dreams cardigan, which, by the way, do not wash them in hot water. Don't wash any of your clothes in hot water, ever. It just changes them, and my Barefoot Dreams cardigan, 
I love, love, love Davis, but he washes things in hot water. It pretty much, like, it lost that softness. So, wash everything in cold water. So, I wanted to get a new one this year because mine just isn't as soft anymore. I got two styles, and I got the same style that I got last year, but then this one came in after, and I love this one so much more. I love the fit of it. It's definitely a little bit more casual. It's very comfy and cozy. I don't know what style this is, but... It's originally $134 and it's on sale for $88.90. I got the small medium size. It fits so well. And I also got this color. I'm thinking of maybe getting some more colors. But I just like the fit of this. It's not like form fitting. It's definitely more of like these free people cardigans that I'm going to show you in a second as well. It's definitely something, again, I could have super dressed down or dressed up. I really love it and I'm taking this with me when I go on the plane to Cabo, even though this won't be used in Cabo. I think it'll be used on the plane. I prefer this one over the other one that I'm going to show you guys later. It's 100% my favorite, which is why the other one is going to go back. Okay, so the next things that I got are these Free People cardigans, and I wasn't going to purchase them, mainly because I hadn't seen them until I watched a few people's videos, and I fell in love with them when I saw it on, and I thought they were so cute. So I got both colors, and I'm really glad I did, because these are going to be such a great layering piece and something fun to throw over dresses or, like, t-shirt dresses, anything like that. This is, like, so good for fall. So they're kind of like, I call them, like, a cocoon type of cardigan, and I just love the fit of this which is why I love that barefoot dreams one too because it has that same type of style it's just a knit all over it's really pretty this actually looks really good over this shirt too if you kind of want to match them they were $148 I don't know how much they were on sale I did get the extra small small definitely an oversized fit so go with like your size if you're small I would go with extra small small um, if you're medium, I would go with medium large. So yeah, I got this gorgeous like burgundy plum color and then this gray that is going to be a staple for fall. I mean, it's so cute over white sweater dresses. Ooh, it's going to be so nice. Cannot wait to wear that. Okay, so I love the current Elliot. I have a few things from them and I think it's a really great brand. Everything I have from them, um, I've had for a couple years and they wear really nicely and you can wash them many times and they still keep their shape and still look really great. So I saw this tank on sale from the current Elliot and I loved it. I just love the stars. They're like distressed type stars. If you're familiar with the fabric of the current Elliot, this is that same exact fabric. It's really nice. I got this in a size medium, right? Or I got it in a size two. I love this because I could wear it right now with some denim shorts. It's just like my type of style. It is more of a high low. And like I said, um, this is a really great brand. It's going to wear really nicely. It's just really worth the money. So I absolutely love this tank. I cannot wait to wear it. These next sweaters are like my favorite sweaters that I got. I got them in both colors. It is so soft and they fit really well. They're like that perfect cropped sweater. These are from the brand Woven Heart. And. And this doesn't have the prices on them as well, so I'll be sure to leave it all on the screen. But I got it in this gorgeous blue color. Isn't that just stunning? And these, once you see them on, they are just the perfect cropped sweater. They hit your body really nicely. They hit you at a good length, at least for me. I am 5'4". This also has slits on the sides and just the way that the hem is, it just is so flattering. I'm really excited I got both colors. This is a very soft fabric, way better than another sweater that I got from the Nordstrom sale. This is 100% worth the money. So I got this color because I figured you can't go wrong with pop of color and then this shade as well. I didn't know how this would look on me and my hair and my skin tone, but I love it. This black denim, knee-high boots, so gorgeous. Another t-shirt that I got is from Paige. I got this in a size small, and it's just a really pretty plum, kind of washed t-shirt. Uh, it's really, really nice. I like the cutout right here, but it must be something about this color for fall. I'm really digging it. So this is adorable. Again, this is something I could wear now because it is short sleeves and then I could throw a um, jacket over top for fall. Okay, these are Spanx and they're moto leggings and you guys need these in your life. I got this in a size medium. My hairstylist sells Spanx at her salon. Hi, gorgeous. How are you? So she sells Spanx at her salon and she's always like, they're amazing. They're the best things ever. And I have Spanx that go underneath um, my dresses and stuff, but I didn't have like Spanx leggings. I got these. 
oh my gosh aren't they just adorable you guys these on are so flattering they suck you in and they're gonna be such a staple for fall like something so easy just to throw on they look a little bit more dressy because they have that moto look to them and then they have like this really cool texture I don't even know what it's called these are awesome so again I got a medium I'm normally a 26 27 in denim Next thing, I haven't seen anyone really talk about, but I love this sweater. <laughs> this is an off-the-shoulder sweater that looks like this. I love the colors, and I love the fit of this. It's definitely more oversized. I got this in a size small. This is the Treasure and Bond sweater. I love this. Davis loves this as well. He thinks it's so cute. This is very fall. It kind of has like a varsity feel to it. You could tuck it in the front of your denim to add a little bit more shape to it. You could even throw on like those biker shorts, you know, those longer kind of legging biker shorts you could get ones that have lace on the bottom and wear it underneath this and some knee-high boots I mean you can really do a lot of different things with this and I was gonna get the other color as well but it's actually sold out right now online I think it's tomorrow when everything can restock I don't know everybody goes back and forth with like if they restock or not hopefully they do because there's a few things that I would like to get I really really like this I think it's a great material this is gonna last you for years to come and I just I love the colors of it it's so fall and the next thing that I got that I'm a little iffy about I don't know first off I do need to size down in this uh, but I don't think I'm going to because if I wear a sweater with it I'm gonna want to tuck it in and I'm gonna need that extra room so this is the Topshop skirt. I got it in a size 8. And this is more of a high-waisted skirt. It looks like this. I love the orange color of it. And this is more of a corduroy type of skirt, which corduroy is in for fall, which I'm not mad at. But it has pockets, and I really like it. I just wish I could take the sides and, like, pinch them in a little bit more to kind of show off my shape. Maybe I'll try to do that. I don't know if you can do that with this skirt. Let me know. But I'll try it on for you guys so you can see. I do love the zipper detail here. I think it's adorable. And then I also got this jacket. I ordered this in a berry color as well, or whatever the red color is. I haven't received it yet. One of my orders with the other color of this jacket is just, like, sitting there waiting for it to be <laughs> packaged, I guess. I don't know. It's Says getting ready it's been getting raised since like the 13th but I am glad I got the olive at least this one's in a medium and I would say go with your true size I do think I have a little bit of extra room with the medium but personally for me I have like more broad shoulders and I have a bigger chest and I'm always usually a medium in jackets unless they are meant to be oversized then I'll size down so I think go with whatever size you usually go with I was a little nervous because I know some people said to size down but I think that's if you want a more fitted jacket. I did order a size small, so I will keep you guys updated on how I feel about it, but so far, I don't mind the medium. I like it. This is a really great jacket. It's from Blank NYC. I think they have this, like, every year or something, but I loved this olive color, and I wanted to snag it up, so... I got that and oh yeah, so it was it's originally $188 and it's on sale for $125.90. So I got some leggings and sports bras. Okay, these sports bras are really, really nice. I wore one the other day and I'm not showing it in this video. Same with one of these tops because I wore it and uh, I really, really liked them. This is from the brand Zella and this is the Yoga and Studio Sports Bra and it's for low impact so if you're running I would not wear this I got a size medium and I really really like it it's such a flattering sports bra so with this band it goes down a little bit lower so you could kind of wear it as a crop top if you wanted to I mean I don't wear sports bras as crop tops in the gym just not there yet but if you do that you can definitely do that with this one and I think the cut of it is just so flattering so I got it in this really pretty blue and also in a gray color and then I got a pair of leggings from Zella. This is the, I got them in a size small, they're high waisted and it's a moisture wicking anti chafe four way stretch breathable fabric. Zella leggings people talk about every single year. I'm still a Lulu Wonder Under die hard fan. I like them better than this but if you still want that amazing fabric that is not as expensive as Lululemon then definitely pick these up. I think they have such cute patterns and that's why I bought this one because you have these like see-through panels. I mean when it starts to snow I'm definitely not going to wear these because I'll be freezing but I think they're so nice and flattering. They are really high-waisted which is what I love. So I'm guessing this is called the all-day top. I don't know I'm probably wrong but this is one of the tops I wore the other day. It's more of like a blue color. I got all of the colors that they had available. So we have this one right here that 
that's like a nice cream. They're so soft. They're high low, so they're higher in the front, lower in the back, so they cover your butt a little bit more. And then you do have this gorgeous open back detail. I wore this with that sports bra and it looked really cute together. So I picked that color up as well as this color. This is like my color. I don't know. I love this right now. The same style, the open back. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now we're gonna move on to shoes and then we will be completely done. So I think with every haul I've seen these shoes, but honestly, I couldn't pass them up. I was gonna get more colors, but I have a pair from Rosie Days that is very similar, so I figured I wouldn't. These are the Steve Madden flats. They're like the studded mules. I just love this snakeskin print. There's just something about it I'm really digging right now. I got a pair of shoes from Revolve like on sale that have this kind of print too. They're wedges and I love them. I figured I would get these because they're a fun way to spice up any outfit. I love the studded details and they're just really nice. They do run true to size. I love the way that they look. I'm a size eight usually and these are a size eight and they fit perfectly. Next up are these boots from Jeffrey Campbell and I actually have these in the camo version which I cannot wait to show you guys. I actually bought them back in like January, February and I hadn't had a chance to wear them. And I saw that they were on sale in the nude. Because I did want the nude, but I didn't pick them up. I got them in the camo instead. So once I saw that these were on sale, I snagged them because I think they're gorgeous. They're actually really comfortable to walk in. They're not too high of a heel in my opinion. You do have this easy open close right here. And these are just like a sexy boot. Like... Oh, something about these pointy toes. They look real good. Next up are these boots from Steve Madden. And I originally bought them in the black. And then I bought them in the other color because I was like, I'm going to wear these out. And the reason why is because I'm a huge fan of over-the-knee boots. Like, I do like knee-high boots. I'll show you a pair in a second. But I love over-the-knee boots because I love pairing them with sweater dresses. I love them over denim. I just... I wear the crap out of them. These are from Steve Madden. I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. These are the black kind, and they do have that really nice pointy toe again. And these fit nicely. The problem that I usually have with over-the-knee boots like this, or even knee-high boots, um, which is why I've never purchased a pair of Stuart Weitzman ones, is that my legs are a little bit thicker because I do work them out a lot. I can't get them over my thighs, but these stretch really nicely and I can fit them over my thighs and my calves really well and they do stay up and I actually have a little bit of extra room to grow my legs, so that's very nice. Yeah, I got these in the black. You guys will see them on and then I also did get them in that taupe kind of color, which is a different color for me, but I'm really excited to kind of style it, especially with like the free people cardigan and whatever. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. The last thing that I got that I didn't know I got, this was probably what I bought at 3 a.m. when I was half delusional because it was way past my bedtime, were these Vince Camuto over the knee boots. These are so nice. These are like the kind of boot that I'm going to have to weatherproof because I cannot wear these in the snow. Like, they're gonna get ruined. They are absolutely gorgeous. They have this little stitched detail here on the sides. You get a zipper closure here. And it does have this, like, stretchy kind of band in the back. These fit my legs perfectly. And they go just a little bit over the knee. Uh, like I said, I usually prefer boots that are, like, kind of thigh high slash over the knee. I didn't remember buying these, but I put them on and they looked really cute. And I figured for everyday wear, this would be really nice. Vince Camuto ones are awesome. I do not need any more boots this fall. I think I am set. But I don't know, my boutique might ruin that for me, so we will see. So that is everything that I bought from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. They've got a lot of great deals going on, and especially with the clothing, hopefully they restock. Oh my god, I wasn't gonna talk, I was gonna talk to you about the returns. Hold on, I'm leaving, and I got things to talk about. So I'm just gonna talk to you about four things very quickly, letting you know what I think about them, and why they're going back. So first off is this Top Shop, um, like high neck. I think you can tell just from this video, it's a very, thin fabric like you can see right through this I was just like uh, no eight and it was pretty freaking tight around my boobs so yeah this one's going back I mean you can just see right there how thin this fabric is I also got it in black too in one of my other orders that is not shipped yet and I'm gonna have to return it because I did not like that at all okay this I am so sad about because I wanted it to work so bad but this did not fit around my butt at all like, I had to go up a couple of sizes. These are so popular, too. They're the Blank NYC uh, denim that completely sold out. They were $98, but for an anniversary sale, they're $64.90, and they are so cute. Now, I will say, I haven't been purchasing denim because 
At Rosie Days, we have Can Cans, and those are the best fitting jeans ever. They are stretchy, they are comfortable, they are just perfect. But I saw these and I was like, oh my god, I love them because they have that like boyfriend, that girlfriend boyfriend type of fit. They're just stunning, but they don't fit my butt. <laughs> like I thought it was gonna rip at the crotch for sure. Really sad about that. Hopefully they do restock these for the public so I can snag a pair up. I got them in a size 26, which 26, 27 is usually my normal size, but for these it won't work. And so I would recommend going up a size if you are interested in these, but they have the cutest little bottoms. I just love them. Okay, this I was really disappointed this is the BP sweater that everyone has been loving. It doesn't say prices, but this is what it looks like. I love the color combo. I love the whole style of this, but it's such a thin fabric. I was not expecting this to be a thinner sweater. I, I bought this with the intention of it being like a thicker sweater. I mean, it looked pretty thick on the website and on people trying it on, but this is definitely something that if you're like down south and it doesn't really get too cold in the fall, you might really like this. For me, I wanted it to be thicker and something I could wear without a jacket and it's just not that. I am going to be returning that. And then this is the Barefoot Dreams cardigan that I'm returning. I'm actually glad I bought the other one because it doesn't have a hood either. That's one thing I really didn't like about this cardigan, but everybody has different cardigan preferences. So, hey, if you like ones like this, then you will love it because it's, again, super soft. This was on sale for $75.90. It's not as fluffy as the other one. It's definitely more of like a true cardigan. I'll try it on for you guys so you can see. I'm not trying on that top shop top because is too see-through. This is very, very nice. Again, super soft. I just prefer the other one more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite thing is that I showed in this video and if you're going to shop the sale or not. I want to know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!